appreciate uh, the opportunity to come here and uh, talk to you a little bit about my company. Uh, we're located in Huntsville, Alabama, where we do research and development, and we also have a manufacturing facility we just stood up in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Uh, you'll see that location, uh, the reason for the Oak Ridge uh, facility here in a minute. So when I started this company, we actually started out as a tooling company. So uh, when we started the company, we actually started as an uh, aerospace tooling company uh, to produce uh, rapidly produced tooling solutions for the aerospace industry to do composite layup, uh, stretch forming, uh, and uh, punching of metal. Uh, however, as we explored more of the material properties, we identified uh, multiple other applications for the product and have expanded significantly out past the tooling side of the house. What's interesting about our product is uh, we actually cure it uh, in an oven. We mix it in large vats. Uh, which allows us to basically integrate any material other than the epoxy itself uh, into it. Right now we incorporate uh, aluminum and ceramics and that has given us a large uh, opportunity uh, for different products as we go along. Uh, what is nice about our product, we actually have a field repair uh, system that we can actually uh, produce and deliver to the field so that they can actually do repairs on the material should they need to. Uh, and that will restore the core uh, capabilities of our product. Of note, uh, our product is 40% lighter than aluminum. Uh, our ceramic variant is about 45% lighter. Uh, our aluminum variant also has a coefficient of uh, our thermal conductivity uh, number of 0.75 watts per meter Kelvin. Our ceramic has 0.13 watts per meter Kelvin. Uh, what that equates to on the ceramic side of the house at one inch is an R value of 189. Uh, we also have a significant uh, compressive yield, uh, which is uh, very nice from the standpoint of stamping material. Uh, we actually are being used by a company for hydroforming. What you see on the bottom right uh, is a AR-15 lower that was machined improperly. We were actually able to repair that, uh, get it back to a fully functioning state. It had been uh, machined all the way through the trigger housing group. We were actually able to repair that uh, in-house. Uh, above that is some autoclave wheels that we manufacture for a company to go up to 425 degrees, which is our peak operating temperature. Some of the applications that we found, I'll talk to the radiation shielding here in a minute and the ballistics. You can see there, there's one of the uh, dies for stamping alloys. Triform Hydroform Company uh, actually uses our material as their sample. Uh, they've done about a thousand strikes on that piece right there. Uh, some of the other attributes about our product is uh, our machine is very similar to wood. Uh, it can be polished uh, to a high sheen like you see there. Uh, we can use it for uh, low and high temp tooling, prototyping, uh, and then also because our product is basically an epoxy aluminum, it does not corrode. Uh, we have samples that have been salt baths for over two years. Uh, we have a piece of steel, a piece of aluminum, and a piece of our material. The steel has basically dropped about half of its mass. The aluminum has white oxide on it, and our product has no corrosion at all. As far as radiation shielding goes, we uh, identified uh, by accident that we have some radiation shielding properties. We've had it tested by two different companies, one for the cesium-137 and one for the cobalt-60, uh, which is pretty significant. What that equates to is basically we can take lead out of the equation when it comes to shielding against a cobalt-60, which is very difficult uh, material uh, to stop. Our ballistic protection, uh, we identified due to the fracture mechanics of our actual product. With that, we've been able to develop a lightweight, low-cost uh, solution set. Uh, what you see here is our wall system, which we've actually brought uh, to the show. Uh, we're performing at level four. We have not had third-party third testing of it. We have had third-party testing of our product up to level three. We have accomplished uh, uh, 30-06 black tip. Uh, we just uh, met that requirement the, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, what's neat about this product right here is that we were looking to develop a wall system that you could take into a contingency operations, drop in place, stand up, and if you look at this, it basically what it allows you to do is fill the frame up with these blocks, which are one foot by one foot coupons. We were trying to figure out how to get the load down on the soldiers so that they could stand up and have a ballistic capability 
uh, available to them very quickly, but you could also take that ballistic capability with you when you wanted to go with it. It's actually mounted to a 463L pallet, pallet independent, pins to it. You stand it up, it's two person stand up. You can also take the upper three feet of the wall section and put it up on top of a building that's designed to fit within uh, the confines of a stairwell or inside of an elevator. You can take it up to the top. It gives you uh, the capability to have a firing port. We also have uh, a ballistic glass panel that comes with each one of the systems. Uh, this is a picture of the wall. We just finished it. It will be here. Uh, if you'd like to go see it, see me after the show and we'll get you over to it. Uh, the other option we have with our product, because it is a cold or cure, cold cure system, i.e. It, it cures out at a very low temperature, is that we can integrate our product around other products. In this case, it was a 3D printed. This is actually a micrometeorite shield uh, for NASA that was 3D printed. Our product will actually get within all the nooks and crannies uh, and protect the aluminum, which is what they printed, printed out of, but it also gives us the opportunity to actually develop monolithic structures that are purpose designed. Uh, if you think of scalable things, you could do a scalable rocket, scalable missile, et cetera. Uh, and then also wep other weapon components, vehicle components as well. Uh, we've also done composite bullets. The bullets we made and manufactured right now are out of stainless steel powder, uh, integrated with our epoxy. You can see the weight reduction. Performance very similar on the heavier rounds, the lighter rounds. Uh, we we're going to have to increase the mass uh, to get the same trajectory and accuracy. Uh, but it's something we're working on and it uh, gets the lead against, again, gets the lead out of the equation. Uh, but it also allows us to do potentially tailored bullets. We actually shot against a sappy plate uh, and we cratered the sappy plate w much more so than a standard 7.62 by 51 round did. Marine applications goes back to our corrosion capacity or capabilities. We can apply this as a coating. We can actually cast boat hulls out of it. Um, and the only limitation we have is oven size. Right now we're getting ready to order a 40 foot oven which can be expanded out to 90 feet which allows us to design a, a hull, cast it out, and then have it out the door very quickly.